Assassin's Creed has finally come to League of Legends. To counter him, pick someone like Diana since she can continuously poke him with her Q and prevent him from getting away because it'll always grind her sight of him. Kale can also poke him down pretty hard and prevent his engaging attempts that way, as well as time her ult well when he uses his. Fizz's ult will also reveal him if he tries to ult away, and his E will also allow him to dodge his ultimate if he times it well. Annie for her CC and burst, Yasuo for his wind wall and mobility, and Ryze for his ultimate for chasing make other good counters too. Talon's passive makes his ability stack on an champions. When they have been hit enough and have 3 stacks, his next basic ability will consume the stacks and cause them to bleed for 2 seconds. His Q will make him dash to a target, but it will just skewer it in crit if he's already within a short distance of his enemy. If he kills the target, then he'll heal for a bit and get its cooldown reduced by 50%. His W makes him throw 3 daggers that will linger in the max distance for 0.75 seconds and come back slowing enemies. His E allows him to leave through walls and it has a set 2 second cooldown. He cannot leave through the same wall for a set amount of time though. Finally, his ultimate will make him invisible and create a ring of blades around him that will converge to his location after 2.5 seconds or when he attacks an enemy or uses a Q on it as well. He's got quite some mobility for engaging pre-6 and not a very good disengage, especially if he's far away from walls in the middle of the lane. In terms of spells, you really only see him run either Ignite, which is most likely, but Teleport is also an option, especially if he's going top lane. You on the other hand don't want to take heal because of the Grievous Wounds, so either Ignite or Teleport are both good options. As for power spikes, Mid to late game is when he can really one-shot people from the shrouds of his invisibility, and also get away by leaping through walls in a rather annoying way. Level 3 when he gets access to his in-lane combo is quite strong, and he might engage you if you're underleveled. Most talents are going for Dustblade first item for its lethality and passive, as well as Yomu's right after it. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, pink wards will not detect talents invisibility. Talents go for lethality, so armor gets reduced. Health-based items are better for tanks. And ask for some ganks because he won't be able to do much about it. Ultimately, have fun doing it.